Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Subnautica. Today we're going to be exploring the floating island. Hopefully we'll find some useful fragments there. And then after that I'm not sure what on earth I'm going to do. But, before we get started, one of our viewers said they wanted a Violet Seamoth. So a Violet Seamoth they'll get. Alright, I just don't like the pale interior. I'll probably put that as like a deep blue maybe? Okay, there. And I'll put that as a... Uh... Why is that so dark color? Okay, the stripes are weird. It's showing bright greens, but then the red's messed up. Okay, whatever, I'll just leave it as a black stripe. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know what I'll name the sea moth yet. Hmm, I think that's a bit purple, not violet. I don't remember the difference between purple and vi violet, if there even is. Right there. Okay, that's a bit better. Now the fun part, trying to actually see it at night. Uh, let's see, I've got food, water... That annoying little shit trying to eat my sea moth. Yep, I think that's everything. So I'm probably forgetting something. Nope, I've even got a spare battery. I have spare storage in this- wait, is this storage got anything in here? Probably got blood oil, yep. Oh, ah, pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay, definitely don't want to have blood oil with us. Let's go put that back real quick. At least I can see my habitat from a distance away. See a random multi-purpose room poking out the top of the water. It's definitely a very normal thing. You always see, like, multi-purpose rooms just, like, floating around on the surface of the water, right? It's a very normal thing. I am mildly angered by the fact that I cannot put all three in there. Okay, so hopefully what I'm really hoping for is to find some stasis rifle fragments at the island. I don't really know anywhere else I can find any. So hopefully there's some there. If there aren't, why is there a stalker eating my sea moth? What the heck? Part of me is tempted to electrocute everything that goes near me. And I've... Not really going that far. Okay. That reef back's a little close to the um, kelp forest. Just got one miserable mushroom on there. I think reef backs are the only um, things in the game that cannot die. Because, at least to the extent of my knowledge, they're invincible. I don't think they can die. Oh yeah, there's the sparse reef. Been here a million times. And by a million times, I mean I've been down here like twice. I still have trouble deciding which one's faster. Is the sea glide faster or is the sea moth faster? It's kind of hard to say. I don't notice much of a difference. Oh. Alright, I think I'll feel safer having this thing in the middle of the island. And man, those are some big floaters. Especially that one. Oh, you can see all the chunks of the island falling off slowly. I'm 
I'm just gonna go down here and scan this boulder real quick. Wow, that thing is massive. What happens if I stab you? Okay, nothing happens. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Interesting. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from 2nd Officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. I should probably actually. I'm gonna face this thing a different direction real quick. So that way, if it turns nighttime, maybe, just maybe, it might be easier to spot the sea moth, which I think it should be with giant spotlights going up into the air. If that doesn't make it easier to spot, then I don't know what will. Alright, new objective. Scan literally anything I can find on this island that looks scannable. Huh? And then get stuck on a mushroom for two seconds. I'd bring these back with me, but I don't have anything to grow them in. Forget it, I'm taking it. Oh yeah, it doesn't even take up that much inventory. That's the good thing about these trees. Like this would be the one of the best bases you could build like or base locations. Like, you'd have unlimited food and water, pretty much. You'll never run out for a long time. What on earth is this? Oof. Go away, you little shit. Die. Oof. Die. I don't like you. Or you. Sort of. Stupid cave crawlers are one of the most annoying things in this game. Well, they're the only things that dwell on land. I mean, like, there's the sky rays, but they're really just flying around all the time. Thing looks like a vase. Ooh. Okay. Don't want to fall down there. Do I like, take these? 
that's a lot of space. That's a lot of space in my inventory. Okay, I'll have to bring just a few of them. Can you not? Stop it. Also, now my cat's on my desk and I can only see half my monitor now. Huh? Should have brought help med kits or something. Um, I was trying to figure out why there's a purple tablet here. I mean, I might need that later on. What is but that? I don't think. I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't going to find out by staying here. However, you did find out it's not a good idea to dive, like, I think 500 something meters deep. Because you ended up dying to a ghost with anything, you morons. I'm dropping that. Ooh, what's in there? Oh, that explains how their base got destroyed. Must have been a mudslide or something. At least by the looks of it, that's what it was. I have never seen a wall planter inside one of those before. <gasps> I have been looking for these. I really needed those. What else do we have? Ah. Oh no. Okay, there. Soon. Soon the ghost of Ivan and the Lost River will be in fear. Come on, I know there's gotta be another fragment for that somewhere in here. There's no way it's the only one. Junior, watch it. You're gonna press all the buttons on my keyboard. What are you doing? Okay, it's gonna be a bit more difficult to play because now I have a cat sitting on my keyboard. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. It must be a strong storm. Go deal with the plunge. Cause I can hear a rattle. Bart, Torgo has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again. And when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here neither. Um, if rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried. What the heck am I gonna be dropped now? After that, it's just a battery. I'll live without one. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Maida, the cut-price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Maida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food, his education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. 
In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Blueprint acquired. What's up here? Is there something useful? What's that sound? So either I'm schizophrenic or I'm hearing stuff. Why is there so much clouds off in that area? What's this? Huh? That's not how physics work. What's in here? Just water, I don't need that. to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Alright, now how do I get up here? That's a sketchy boy ridge there. How many thrusters does that thing have? For a split second I could see all the thrusters on the back of it, but then it kind of got a bit dark. And I couldn't see it. But it sure looks like there's quite a few. What the heck? Oh, that's why my mouse is going back down. Forgot I've got my cat right here. If I try to move my mouse up like this, I'm pushing his tail. The heck, I thought I scanned these already. Junior, I'm gonna have to move you soon. I can't even move my mouse normally. I like how they were how they crashed like about ten years ago. But then somehow they've still got their um there are plants growing in here and there's no water getting in. How are the plants, like, su sustaining themselves? Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <gasps> oh crap. Ow, ow, ow. This is fine. Carefully descend the qu you know forget it. I'm jumping. I'm only half dead. No wait. I've got um zero point five four of my health remaining. Uh I did not get what I needed. 
All I wanted was a stasis rifle, and what do I get? Just half of a stasis rifle. Come on, game. What is what is wrong with you, game? Why do you have to be so rude, game? All I wanted was a stasis rifle. See moths all the way over there. Alright, well I might go check out that, um... Gigantic arch I saw going across the island. Maybe there might be something around that area. I highly doubt it, though. I think it's just these three habitats that's on here. I'm gonna also probably have to upgrade the sea moth so it can go 900 meters. Oh yeah, I I gotta get with him too. There is actually stuff out here. Please, please have stasis right. That is a lot of potato plants. Okay, I'm staying here. I like this spot. It's my new home. Oh, I did not get what I needed, but I did get something else I did need. Which was the fins. I really needed that. But I didn't want it. Not right now, at least. All I wanted was just a stasis rifle. I came looking for gold and I found copper. In this game, that's actually technically more of a good thing, but... Oh, what's this? You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site, a couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Integrating new PDA data. There must be one. They went down to the jelly shroom caves. I'll probably head back down there. Maybe, just maybe I might get lucky and find something I need down there. I highly doubt I will. But you never know. I just hope I actually do find something I need. of that. Okay, so I am schizophrenic right now. I keep looking down and what the hell is that? Alright, I'll get back to you guys when I get back to the jelly shroom cave area. 
Okay, so while I was kind of like moving back towards my base, I saw a spire up in the kelp zone that's over there somewhere. And I recognized it because I remember that kelp zone was on my main save. I remember I was passing through there and I found this massive wreck near it. So I decided to see if I could find it. Well, I did indeed find it, but I'm paranoid of this area. And I think you can guess why if you're an experienced player with this game. If not, then it's because of the fact that there's ghost wyverns in this area sometimes. Near blueprint acquired. Hopefully I'll find some useful fragments. I doubt I'll find anything I really need. I mean, I guess there was a Cyclops depth module, but it's not very helpful because I don't own a Cyclops. So yeah, kind of useless for me. It's also a lot of Warpers in this area. Okay, all these cargo containers, they're either, um, closed or they're empty. There hasn't been anything in these. I wish the laser cutter would cut faster, but unfortunately it doesn't. Not that bad though. It's actually a bit funny I found it because that thing in my previous save is just useless. Like, why would you want something to repair your vehicle in your cyclops so you can just use your repair tool that I always carry 24 7? Like, why would. Why? It's still wasting your eye on um, cells in there. Or power cells in there. I'm knocking you down there too. Don't work, go in there. I'm gonna drown soon. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't really need it, but okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. How do I get out of here? Uh oh. Okay, I need to get an extra 15 seconds. Closer my sea moth is to the ground, I feel safer. I mean, I don't really feel safer, but uh, where's the entrance? Okay, there it is. Nope, this is not the entrance. Where was that vent? Now they're just trying to get back there as quick as possible. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. I don't 
like that. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna do a cool thing called getting the hell out of here. Now I'm to the jelly charm caves, because I need lithium. What are you doing down here? Buddy, you're a stalker. You don't belong in the deep Grand Reef. This yeah, is a deep grand reef. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. I forgot. I don't know why, but I sometimes confuse the deep grand reef with the um. Wait, wait a minute. Is it? Hold up. That's the same reef back that was over in this area when I um originally left the base. Or anything else, I'm gonna head back down to the um, jelly shroom cave. I should wait. No, before I do that, I should um, use my scanner room to scan for fragments. That's what I should do. And then maybe I might bring the prawn suit down there. I mean, I've got the grapple hook, and I don't have the upgraded jump jets, but still, we can go pretty high up. Odd sound outside. It's like a uh, constant thundering, and I mean constant in the most literal way possible. The hell? It shook the whole building for a second. I hate that guy's voice. Live pod 13 coordinates attached. Live pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright. Thing of water in here? Huh. I thought I put one of my filtered waters in there. Oh. Thanks, game. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. I can't believe I have this whole thing filled with random stuff I found. Like, not even materials, this is random stuff. Actually, wait, what do I need for questing? It's what, two with you, I think? Do I have two? Or do I just have none? Um. Yeah, that's real nice, I have none. Alright, well, let's head over to the scanner room. Uh... There's 
Oops, there it is. Alright, Ronzu, get over here. No one's decided what to paint you yet, so... Welcome until someone captain. says what color you're being painted, you're staying pale. It's very sad. I feel very sad for my prawn suit. Nobody knows what to color him. Why the hell am I gendering a chunk of metal that can go 1700 meters deep? I feel like my scanner room is not scanning in the right area. Yeah, forget it, I'm saving my game before I go down here. Because I know this is a horrible mistake. Why did I do this? Actually, wait, this might not be so bad after all. Yeah, maybe it'll be okay. Ooh, is this copper? What is this? Oh, it's gold. I mean, I can use a little bit of this, I guess. I think my drill arm is glitched out there. Why did I only grab a single piece of that? I don't like smoking. I need more than just one. Alright, I think I settled it good. I can't just fill my inventory up with all the same stuff. Shut up, crab snake. Nobody cares. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Mm hmm. Integrating new PDA data. What oh, need diamond? Always the unwanted stuff. Except for that, I needed that. It's only the one thing I need. I guess the bronze is kind of worth bringing down here. There is any more gold. Why is there so much gold? I don't want gold. Gold's like the most useless thing to me right now. I don't need it. Finally. I don't know what I'm down here for.
There we go. Hi, anything in here? Oh, we. That is a big crab snake egg. More with him, I'll take it. I'll take it. So I need that for class new ingots, which I'm gonna be using a lot later on. And a lot of upgrades for vehicles required. There are some copper deposits down here, though. Sadly, there's not. It's all gold, lithium, and magnetite. There's more lithium. How much storage do I have left in this? I think that might be enough lithium. Nah, yeah, just kidding. I need more. I always think it's enough with you, and then you run out. Actually, I should probably just leave some down here. No way, I left the PDA in there and I never collected that? How did I not collect the PDA from in there? You have gotta be kidding me, I thought I collected that. Well, I guess it's a good thing I came back here. You gotta be kidding me. Integrating new PDA data. I don't feel like listening to it right now. I feel like it's not being stuck on stupid stairs or whatever the heck that was. Not again. 
keep running into those. Yeah, my health regenerating fast at least. Alright, yeah, I pretty much have no idea like where my stuff I need is. No oh, wow, my scanner room's just out of distance. Did that thing just try to bite my prawn suit? Poor fish got traumatized for a second there. What on earth was that? You don't know something funny? I forgot how to get out of here. However, I am pretty confident I can get the prawn out of here. If not, I guess I'll just build another. And by that I mean I'm just going to reload the save if I get stuck down here. Because I don't want to have to go th through building another one. Oh yeah, we're getting out of here alright. There. See, I made it. There's a lot of fragments. Not picking up anything over there. Right, let's go see what's out here. Okay, that's a little too fast there. I guess the glider mobile vehicle bay thing. Oh yeah, I forgot laser cutters though, so it's just... There's several fragments in here. I don't know how to get down there though. This is that one spot I don't know how to get in. This game is 
just 90% pain. At least I don't want to fling myself across the landscape really fast. Now that, that is what I call high speed travel there. Alright, I think I'm- wait, there's some fragments up there. Actually, that's probably all the stuff I already got. Alright, I think I'm gonna give up on looking for the stasis rifle for now. I'm gonna head back to base, upgrade the um, Seamoth, and then maybe for the next episode, might go down to the Lost River, might get some nickel and sulfur and all that stuff I need. Maybe, just maybe, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to decide if I'm gonna do it or not. I might head out into the mushroom forest. Maybe I'll find something good out there. Although I don't really want to head out there before I have a stasis rifle. So I'm gonna... I might explore a little bit off camera. Maybe I'll get lucky, maybe I won't. I don't know yet. I probably won't go do that. I might, I'm not sure. But what I do know is once I have All this upgraded, then I might bring it down to the Lost River a bit. Maybe. I probably won't. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'll probably like, bring it to the Mushroom Forest or something. Because it's got the perimeter defense so I can get away from anything easier. Alright. Let's see. Actually, I'll just make the... I'll make the depth module tomorrow. Actually, you know I'll make it now. Before I forget. Oh yeah, never mind. I don't have titanium at all. Never mind. Alright, so yeah, that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. I've got plenty of lithium, though. So that's one good thing. Bad thing is I don't know where to store it. Never mind. All right, let me grab the rest of the lithium and gold and stuff I found. Yeah, I've got I've got a lot of lithium. I won't have to worry about that for a little while. Same with gold. Gold I've got a lot of. It's maybe the last word I say I've got a lot of it and I don't really need it that much. <laughs> the next thing I know I'm out of it. Alright, I think that's everything for today. So anyways, thank you for watching. See you next time.